Good evening, everybody. Well, I wasn't planning on making a video tonight, but... Uh, I just was decorating the house all day, and... I have a few of these, uh, Tivoli Model 1s. These are great radios. They were around $99 about 10 years ago. And, uh, they really sound great and have nice reception. Uh... High quality speaker here. It's actually ported. That's the speaker port. Um, actually, when I lifted it, you heard the screws fall out. Um, but what happens with these radios is the volume pots get scratchy after a while. And uh, I mean, look how dirty this thing is. This thing has had kitchen duty and, you know, remodel duty. So it's got so much sheetrock in here. Who knows? But anyway. Let me show you how to clean the potentiometer on this. Don't go unscrewing 9 million screws here. All you have to do is unscrew four screws in these deep holes. So get yourself a nice long screwdriver like this with a good enough handle so you can get some torque on it. Let me focus there. And you just, you know, stick it in these holes and you turn. One, two, three four okay now what that does is uh it's funny it doesn't let the back move but it lets the whole front come out so i'm going to pause it and turn the radio around hold on okay here we are in the front now it's hard to do this with there it is okay so ta-da here's your tavoli just to let you see the inside of this good good size magnet on that speaker. It's a high quality speaker. It sounds great for what is this thing? Three watts, I think. But anyway, if you look in here where my finger is pointing, that's the volume pot. And it's kind of open. So you could see where whoops, hold on. Ah, oh, sorry about that. Let me get my flashlight here. Uh, this way uh, I can actually make a helpful video. Okay. See right and you see the, the terminals, the soldering. See this big opening? That's where uh, that's where you're going to shoot your uh, deoxid in there. And, uh, you know, work the potentiometer. And that will clear up all the uh, scratchiness and fuzziness. This is a pretty neat radio. I've never really opened it until tonight. Uh, it's one of the, it's a very high quality. If you just want a table radio with amazing sound, this radio fills my whole first floor with great sound. My friends come over and they're like, "Wow, that thing sounds great!" But uh, I'm not here to do do a commercial. I, I I want about. I figured I'd let you know that it's a decent sounding radio with the. Amazing base for its size. So I'm just going to squirt the deoxid in there. And uh, the scratchiness will go away. And then, once again, there's four screws. You can see these really long green uh, standoffs here. That's the way the screws go into. So a uh, good amount of wiring in this little radio. Look at the rubber bands. I guess they're only needed for assembly. Then once 